Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fernando Sanchez. Today we're talking about how Nightcore keeps pushing the boundaries when it comes to technology and flashlights. We had the EDC33, which had globally debuted features like the Lumen Shield and Search Mode. Now we have the EDC35, which is highly anticipated and is the upgraded version of the EDC33. Let's get right into it. comes with the EDC35, you got the EDC35, the clip is included along with the 550 paracord, a USB-C charging cable, and for the first time, the holster NTH32. Now let's get into the specs. So we know that the EDC33 has 4,000 max lumens, well the EDC35 has 5,000 lumens and a maximum throw of 601 yards with a max intensity of 75,700 candela. That is compared to the EDC33 with 492 yards. Now this thing is very compact with its length only being 4.89 inches, head diameter 1.25 inches, and tube diameter 1.02 inches. It's only slightly wider and a little bit taller than the EDC33. And with the clip, this thing only weighs 6.28 ounces. Pushing out those 5,000 lumens is a nine core UHI 40 max LED. First of its kind, it's just like the UHI 40 from the MH12 and the MH25 Pro, but surrounded by eight auxiliary LEDs. It gives it a rounder beam and is able to give this small light such lumen power and throw. The reflector has an orange peel, a micro textured reflector that offers long range and wide angle lighting that gives it a more dispersed and even flood beam. And the black dot there is your proximity sensor that protects and dims the light on the high setting only when it detects an obstruction. Now what's impressive is the proximity sensor on this is a lot more reactive than the previous proximity sensors on the other lights. Now you have a more intuitive proximity sensor that works a lot better and only on high mode. So right now we're on high mode and you can see that it instantaneously finds the objection and dims the light compared to the MH12 Pro that has some sort of lag. As you can see right here, they're both on high. Finds the obstruction, dims, you also have the ability to be able to turn off the proximity sensor for that cycle if you'd want to. The lens is also an optical lens with a double-sided scratch-resistant coating, and it also includes four brightness levels, just like the EDC33, you got ultra low, low, medium, and high mode. And two special modes, of course, now even brighter 3000 lumens and 5000 lumens search mode and lumen shield. These modes are controlled by a single tail light switch, just like the EDC33, which is very convenient because you are able to control everything with one hand. You don't have to switch it around like the MH12 Pro and touch button right here. This is the most compact EDC slash tactical flashlight out on the market. It also includes the new deep pocket carry clip paired with the 550 paracord that lets it sit deep in your pocket and you are able to pull on the cord to easily deploy it. It provides a runtime of up to 90 hours compared to the EDC 3363 hours, which is a huge improvement and can be charged by its hidden USB-C port, just like the EDC33 right here. And the charging on this thing from zero to 100 is incredibly fast, charging only approximately three hours and 30 minutes. And next to the USB-C port, we also have the four battery level indicator LEDs. With the four constant on is 75 to 100%, three constant on 50 to 75%, two constant on 25 to 50%, and one constant on zero to 25%. It has an IP68 dust and waterproof rating and it's two meter impact resistance, safe for any accidental drops. Right around here is a unique feature, just like the EDC33, my favorite rapid lock with full and half lockout modes. It is designed to prevent accidental activation during storage or everyday carry. It is the most convenient and the best application towards locking out your flashlight that I've ever seen on any flashlight before. And the reason why is because with other flashlights like the MH12 Pro, you have to use a sequence of different ways to lock out these flashlights. Some of them you have to press a couple times, others you have to press and hold. With this one, you can easily just see if it's locked or not because it shows you the lockout image right here. The body is engineered from a 7,075 series military grade aluminum, the strongest one yet, making this very durable. And it is coupled with the one millimeter deep textured finish as well that gives you that very strong grip. Now lastly, just like the EDC33, and also a great thing is that it tail stands. How much powerful is this from the EDC33? Let's take this out for some beam shots. This right here, 
is ultra low. And we're gonna go to low. You can start to see the shape of the beam. Then we're gonna go to medium. You can start to see trees a little bit. Well, then we'll go to high. Now you can really see that long throw. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna go to search mode right here. This is search mode. Right there. Now we're gonna go to Lumen Shield. That's crazy. That is insane right there. That's just crazy. That is search mode. Uh, pressing lumen shield Whew. how do you use this flashlight very simple ui in operation everything is operable through the tail right there just like i mentioned to turn it on and off you just simply press all the way down it turns on to turn it back off you just do it again now when the light is on you just perform a half press to cycle through the different four modes half press to go to low medium and high or back to ultra low. Now the selected brightness level is memorized even after turning off the light. So if I were to turn it back on, it goes back to the previous mode I was in. Now for the momentary modes, which is the search mode, which is your spotlight or the lumen shield mode, which is your floodlight, you do a half press and hold and then you activate those modes. Now if you hold, you activate the 3000 lumen spotlight for search mode or if you fully press down, you activate the full 5,000 lumen output with the lumen shield mode. The EDC35 also features two lockout modes, half and full, and to access those, you can easily see it right here. For a full lockout mode, you just push this up and you see the locked image right there, and that tells you that you're in lockout mode. Now half lockout mode, which only gives you access to the lumen and search modes, you turn on the light and you press and hold and then you push up the lockout switch. Now you're in half lockout mode. You have access to the search with the half press and full press for the lumen shield mode. But if I click it fully, you do not have access to the main modes. What makes the EDC35 an incredible flashlight in my opinion, is the fact that it's a very practical and quality built light. It is a little bit thicker around the head and the body as well, but it's still very compact which helps a lot with the heat dissipation, meaning that this uses the entire body to dissipate that heat. So even though it does get hot pretty quickly, it also dissipates that heat pretty quickly. As far as size comparison, it is a little bit thicker and longer than the EDC 33, but it's still very compact and not that much bigger compared to the MH12 Pro with higher lumen outputs higher runtime and bigger throw as well. The EDC35 has a textured bezel as you can see, the EDC33 doesn't. What I like about this bezel is that it is pointing enough to be able to break glass if you really used enough force, but it won't rip your pockets open if you decide to carry it. Alongside with this deep pocket carry right here and the safe to use strike bezel right here, this is the perfect EDC slash tactical light I've seen. And yes, it does push out 5,000 lumens. So you would think this thing would be even hotter than the EDC 33, but because it's thicker and the length is a little bit longer, it dissipates that heat a lot more balanced. But like I mentioned in the EDC 33 video, this light is not meant to keep on holding the lumen or search mode. It does have a built-in battery, but that helps keep it compact size, more sealed, giving it that IP68 rating. You are able to charge this thing and use it at the same time. And that brings me to the point that this would be great to pair with with the Cargo 20K, which is able to charge this thing four times over. So definitely something to carry around if you're using one of these lights. All in all, I'm very impressed with this slide. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.